Ever wondered why a massive ship made of steel can float on water while a small iron nail sinks? It's not magic, it's science. And the answer lies in a principle discovered over 2,000 years ago by a Greek scientist named Archimedes. Welcome to the fascinating world of buoyancy and floating objects. Think of a time when you floated in a swimming pool or a sea. You've experienced buoyancy, the upward force that keeps things afloat. But what causes buoyancy? Why do some things float while others sink? Step into the shoes of Archimedes. Imagine you're sitting in a bathtub, and as you lower yourself into the water, it rises, spilling over the sides. That's displacement. When you immerse yourself in water, you displace an amount of water equal to your volume. And here's the key. The water pushes back. This pushback is what we call buoyancy. Now picture a ship made of steel. It's heavy, right? But it's also hollow, and the overall shape and size mean it displaces a large volume of water. This displacement creates an upward force or buoyancy that can support the weight of the ship. As long as the upward buoyant force equals the weight of the ship, it floats. On the other hand, consider a small, solid iron nail. It displaces only a tiny volume of water, creating a small buoyant force. The nail is denser than the water it displaces, so it sinks. The buoyant force is less than the weight of the nail. So what's the magic formula? This brings us to Archimedes' principle. It states that the buoyant force on an object submerged in a fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. If the buoyant force is greater than or equal to the object's weight, it will float. If it's less, the object will sink. In essence, it's not about the material an object is made of, but rather the amount of water it displaces. A steel ship floats because it's large and hollow, displacing a lot of water while a solid iron nail sinks as it displaces a small amount of water. Archimedes' principle is a fundamental concept in fluid mechanics that has shaped our understanding of why and how objects float. It's the reason why enormous cruise ships can sail across the ocean, why hot air balloons rise into the sky, and why you can float in a pool. So next time you see a gigantic ship cruising on the water, remember, it's not about the weight, but the displacement. That's the science of floating, the secret of buoyancy, and the genius of Archimedes.